Hi folks, it's uh, Matthew here again. Uh, it's uh, day uh, nine days until Christmas, so day nine, uh, day four of the twelve, uh, and uh, today is all about um, the second E in December, uh, which is embrace. What I started off by uh, putting was embrace the weather, and then I said embrace the change, or embrace change, which uh, is a bit similar really. Um, and uh, that's what today's about. It's quite a big one actually, um, but a few top tips uh, from me um, just to help you to uh, you know navigate uh, the future and the present of course um, is to uh, you know always be prepared to embrace change, uh, whether that's been your personal life or in your professional life, um, both count. So being prepared is really, really important. Being flexible um, is very, very important. Um, adopt adopt a stoic or stoic yeah stoic attitude or approach uh, stoicism is uh, you know quite a uh, an interesting philosophy and i do recommend that you read up on it a little bit um, develop uh, and build a resilient uh, character and a mindset allowing you to again you know bounce back from setbacks and uh, a bit of reframing of situations um, breathing is a good way of um, helping you become more resilient and uh, responding better to situations. Breathing exercises like, um, you know, exhaling, in, inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. Um, more, uh, a longer exhale though uh, really helps, but breathing has always been uh, considered um, a very, very important practice when it comes to calming oneself and um, activating what we call the parasympathetic nervous system again just allowing us to uh you know counter the uh, fight and flight mode that we all tend to uh end up in uh, so breathing can really help and just again centering yourself and reframing the thoughts that come into uh, one's mind of which we have thousands and thousands of them but it is up to us to try and be conscious of them intervene and change them okay pivot and protect Protect your mind from negativity or more negativity than otherwise. Negativity will still come in. But again, it's that reframing process. Pivot away from um, those times that don't work out for you. Fail forwards and be prepared that. Be prepared to, um, you know, go through tough times. Uh, as we say in the uh, Beyond Greatness guide, you know, being responsive is all about making sure that you are prepared at all times. Know your blind spots. What we always say is um, identify something called a swoot, identify your strengths, look at your weaknesses, just a few gentle ones. Uh, what are your options now and in the future? What opportunities can you create for yourself? Because that's the way to do it. Open doors for yourself. Uh, and then, of course, threats. Identify what threats you have in your life. And uh, we do uh, encourage people to do this regularly. I call it... Uh, instead of swiping or scrolling swoot instead so swooting is a practice and then of course open your heart uh, which allow you to open your mind uh, be prepared to let go um, forgive uh, to some extent as well uh, those that do wrong by you um, forgive those situations forgive those people and of course as uh, Michael Singer would say uh, be prepared to surrender the ego because the ego is the one that generally gets in the way when we want to accept the change. And of course, uh, a popular saying is, is just to adjust your sail. You know, the wind will come, the weather will change and we have no control over it. But just be prepared to adjust the sail because life is full of challenges, but we can make the best of them. And, um, you know, a bit like my new community, Invictus um, Vitality and Wellbeing, having that unconquerable soul can really help you strive and shine in the future. So that's 2024 and beyond. If you ever want any help with embracing change, just get in touch with uh, me, get in touch with us, and we can help with that. But uh, yeah, there's a few top tips for embracing change, and it is so important. All right, see you tomorrow.